Um, I'm just a little unclear if you come to uh, thinking about the incarnation with the doctrine of the Trinity in the background, also yes. um, taking that in conjunction with one. Yes. Um, how that doesn't make Christ three persons in one. Okay, this is a great question. If you look at my fuller exposition of this material, it's found in the chapter on the Incarnation in Philosophical Foundations for a Christian Worldview that my colleague J.P. Moreland and I wrote together. It is preceded immediately in the book by a chapter on the doctrine of the Trinity. And there I argue that in the Trinity we have um, three persons sharing one nature. So that the doctrine of the Trinity and the doctrine of the Incarnation are kind of mirror images of each other. In the Trinity you have multiple persons in a single nature. In the Incarnation you have a single person with multiple natures. So they're kind of like mirror images. Uh, the one is multiple persons with a single nature the other one is a single person with multiple natures. So I would say the second person of that trinity took on human flesh and became Jesus of Nazareth in the way I described. 